replacement or accessory seats for motorcycles has always been a difficult one. It's not so much the seat itself, it's the seat pan that's extremely difficult to produce. And over the years, there's been basically three options to choose from. Now, they all basically come in at a very similar price, certainly above £200. And the first option that, to be fair, you don't see too often these days is a seat exchange. You give the company your seat, they use your seat pan to build a new seat, and these are probably the highest quality option out of the current three. But in the greater scheme of things, they're the most expensive option and you lose the facility of a spare seat. You're just swapping one seat for another seat. And then there are the other two options. There's the seat pans made from sheet aluminium and the seat pans made from glass reinforced plastic. And these, in my opinion, are the poor relations of accessory seats. They tend to be ill-fitting. They look okay once you've got them fitted, if you can get them fitted. But there are dogs dinner underneath and the way they're made often tends to cause damage to the seat rail. So more often than not, they're a downgrade rather than an upgrade. Now over the years, I accepted that that's just how it is, and I always chose not to fit an accessory seat for those reasons. A few years ago, Motone Customs turned this whole concept on its head. Sam at Motone released the first of their accessory custom seats for the Air Cool Bonnevilles. It was the early days of me doing the T100 project. And I remember him supplying me with the first of his seats and explaining to me that a custom seat should be an upgrade, not a downgrade. It shouldn't just look nice when it's viewed from the top. The whole product must be right. It must fit correctly and it should be as good, if not better, than the original manufacturer's seat. The customer shouldn't have to forfeit his original factory seat. The exchange system meaning that quite often the customer is without any seat at all for weeks, sometimes even months. And the only way to achieve this was to create seat pans that were manufactured in the same way as the original manufacturer's seat pans. A sleek, polished product that fits exactly and is created from injection molded ABS. Those seats from Motone Customs for the Air Cool Bonnevilles, because of those ABS seat pans, went on to be the number one replacement seat option for the Air Cool Bonnevilles. There's a damn good reason why most custom parts manufacturers don't make their seat pans this way. And that reason is money. They want a quick profit. Designing and development of a seat pan like this takes years and tens of thousands of pounds. And when they get to the end of that process and it's time to actually start producing the seat pans, the mould alone costs approximately the price of your average family car to make. So that is a huge amount of money spent before you even make your first seat pan. But it's the only way to do it if you're going to make the seat pans properly. Now, like I said, Motone's air-cooled seats were a huge success. But the elephant in the room was that Triumph had now released the liquid-cooled twins and the seat pans were completely different. This is Motone's first iteration of the liquid cold seat line, and in keeping with their range of seats named after well-known snakes, this is the Rattler. Now, they have a small production batch of these on the shelves already for the Street Twin. Triumph have complicated things slightly because although the chassis and seat rail are the same on all the models, slight differences in side panel designs alters the clearance. And what you're looking at here is the one and only final prototype for the T120 and T100. They will in the next few months be releasing versions to fit all of the Bonneville twins apart from the bobber obviously. 
but they've got a different seat in development for that one and based on this seat pan they have plans for a whole range of different style seats this cafe racer styled rattler being only the first so if this isn't your style if you're prepared to just hold on a little while i'm sure something will come along in due course This is a finely sculpted sea with an interesting mix of diamond pattern quilting and boat deck style tuck and roll with a familiar classic cafe racer style silhouette. Personally, I think this is the best sea Motown have created to date. And the two and a half to three years spent in development has been time well spent. Unlike most custom seat manufacturers, Moton have taken great care to ensure a precise fit without the actual seat contacting the tank. Attention to detail that I think is most important. I'm not going to bang on about the quality because by now you should all know Moton and you should all know Moton quality. I think there's just one word that sums it up, unrivaled. As you may already know, Moton Customs custom parts are often the first choice for the major custom build shops. I've seen Moton parts on all sorts of influential builds. And in line with that supply concept, Moton have released kits now these are not just available to the big bike building shops these are available to anybody that wants to create their own unique design using a Moton seat pan and foam which is guaranteed to be a perfect fit for the bike the foam is a very generous and firm injection molded closed cell foam which is important for comfort and making sure that your seat doesn't get waterlogged they've been molded for an exact fit onto the seat pan again a quality concept that you won't see with any other custom seat manufacturer this means that once purchased your custom builder can quite simply cover it himself or go to his favorite upholsterer and stamp his personality onto the seat with a one-off bespoke seat cover i've been racking my brain i don't think there is another product out there that's comes anywhere close to this now i'm not exactly sure what moton's plans for the future are with this kit version because the one that they have available at the moment is the street twin version which would require about four millimeters to be shaved off the seat pan skirt in order to fit bikes like the t100 and t120 now i will leave a link obviously to moton's website for all of these products so that you can take a look at them and i'm sure that moton will have lists of the compatible triumph models for each of the different kits or seats and of course the best bit is you get an exclusive 15 percent channel discount via a discount code i will leave in the video description against any moton custom products you might decide to buy now finally before we go supply and demand sam at moton sent me a list of restock items that he was getting in on the shelves last week and asked me if I would be kind enough to mention them in this video and then this morning I got a message from him telling me basically forget it because it's all gone with the problems that this current pandemic is causing they're finding it extremely difficult to keep up with demand with the stocking levels they are restocking several times a week now and i would urge you that if you're interested in any of moton's products that are currently out of stock make use of the email stock alert system that they've put online so that they can let you know immediately when those items hit the shelves again and my advice is if you've been waiting for something to come back into stock and you get a stock alert don't waste any time because things are going out of stock as quick as they're coming back in having said that i've received news that as of sometime this week Moton will be releasing a limited edition and very exclusive solid brass Monza cap as well as some Union Jack design aluminium Monza caps 
and I think this is a first for Moton, some polished stainless steel engine bars for the Bonnevilles. Initial details of these products will of course be exclusive to this channel, so keep your eyes peeled. Once again, thank you so much for taking the time to watch this and my other videos, and in doing so, helping to support this channel, helping to keep it going. I really do appreciate the time that you all put aside every week to watch my videos. I do hope that you've enjoyed this video and found it useful. If you have, please leave a like and subscribe to the channel. And if you do subscribe, don't forget to hit the notification bell so that you can be informed whenever I upload a new video. I will of course be back on Friday with 5 things I hate about motorcycling. So until then, if you're riding, please ride safely and I'll see you soon.